I'm here to fight for freedom for every single person. I don't care if you're a communist, I don't care if you're Antifa, I don't care. Every single person that assaulted me, spit in my face, pepper sprayed me, choked me out, all the times that I've bled for this movement, I'm fighting for them too. I'm fighting for your right to, to say whatever you want. Everybody who's attacked me, I'm fighting for this entire country. And I'm gonna be there in Kiwanis Park to fight for the Constitution. Fight for, now apparently it's again the First Amendment and the fight for the Second Amendment. And I will keep going forward. And there, there's nothing except for God himself, nothing is gonna stop me. I applied for this permit out of respect to this city because the city's been so good to me and so good to, to the Patriots, both who are, live here and don't. I got the insurance out of respect to this city. But the truth is, I don't need a permit. I don't need a permit to speak. I don't need a permit to, to, to uh, peacefully assemble with other Americans in this country. Right now, so many people in this country, especially on the West Coast, are afraid to speak up. They're afraid because of people constantly trying to oppress, constantly trying to silence others, nonstop. What, what, what is it so bad? What is so bad about patriots coming together? I don't get it. I don't understand. And I've been fighting this for the last two years. People from Portland, people with communist connections, Antifa connections, constantly trying to trip me up. Constantly. And I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, and I'm sick and tired of being lied about. I'm sick and tired of people slandering my name. I'm so done with it. But I just want everyone in this room to know, anybody watching, you guys to know, that I will never stop and I will never quit, no matter what they try to do, no matter how many times they do their phone campaigns to try to get my ads shut down, we're gonna, we're gonna put more ads up, and it just motivates me and inspires me. So, with that being said, if you guys choose to pull the permit, because the only grounds that you have is apparently if you don't have the, the manpower, okay? We're still going to be there, and you're still going to have to bring the same amount of police, okay? And the police are going to have to be there because potentially people from Portland may want to come out here and try to hurt us. Let's make this very clear. I've been all over the state of Washington, not one act of violence. Totally peaceful. Okay? I've had over 30 rallies since the last time I went into Portland. No violence. Okay? Because we believe in law and order up here. That's what we believe in. We believe in the Constitution. So I will be there at Keyhawks Park and everybody else who wants to show up, even if you oppose us, show up and have a conversation, but do not silence us. We will never be silenced. Never. So I look forward to it. I look forward to seeing everybody at Kiwanis Park on Sunday. Yeah. Um, again, I would like to reiterate that we are part of United BG, and I've personally lived in Battleground for 21 years. Um, we are not Southwest Washington Communities United for Change. Which file do you uh, I just would like to reiterate that we ask that you please consider our appeal to revoke a specific permit and instead work with the applicant to find a more appropriate venue, date, and event plan that maintains the public welfare as a top priority. I think it is a very appropriate spot because it is a park and a city in the United States of America, okay? So it is a perfect spot. It is a beautiful park and a beautiful city on a Sunday with American flags. I could not be any happier than to be in Battleground on Sunday. Yeah. yeah. Peace. Thank you very much. Um, that concludes the public hearing, and as I indicated before, I will issue written findings on this matter by 12 p.m. tomorrow, Friday, March 29th. So the hearing is officially closed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Yeah, I've been here. Hey, boy. Hey. Dumpster diver. Must have better place to watch than being empty trash can. So I notice your badge and stuff's different than the regular police. Are you a marshal? Nope. Oh, Metro Watch. Yep. You're a security guard. <laughs> uh, no such thing as a good security guard. <laughs> Or is it open? Oh, you yes, I need it. Now, now it's clicking. I kind of want to check my. Yeah, do you want to 